Okay, we're going to do a couple areas on Jolie today. We're going to do her abdomen and we're going to do her outer thighs. The first thing we do is, is mark these areas with her standing. Uh, unfortunately, when things uh, when she lays down, things tend to, to move around. So this allows us to have a pretty good indication of where we want to work. And we also mark it in a topographical fashion so that I know where the thickest areas of fat are and then the, the thinner areas out to the edge of, uh, in areas where we taper. The first step in the process is uh, putting the tumescent fluid in the tissue. This uh, is uh, really the slowest part, and this provides the anesthetic effect and also shrinks the blood vessels down so that, uh, we don't get any bleeding and also uh, minimizes any bruising that's, uh, that occurs. We do this to all the areas. We're going to be putting fluid in our abdomen, and it produces a, a swollen area, and that's what tumescent means, is firm and swollen, and that's what the tissue looks like once we finish putting the fluid in there. The second stage is actually the laser lipolysis or laser treatment. Uh, I use a smart lipo laser. This uh, actually does a couple of things for us. First of all, if you treat the tissue with it, it tends to partially liquefy it and soften it up, makes it easier to suction. And secondly, it heats the tissue and this helps shrink it, uh, particularly in areas uh, where the skin tends to be a little lax or uh, uh, may not contract as well as you'd like for it to. By bedtime tonight, you'll start feeling some soreness in some areas. Uh -huh. uh, and then you'll actually have a little effect from the laser, even from the, the anesthesia, up to about uh, even up to about 35 to 40 hours of uh -huh. surgery. But it took, so as a result, tomorrow you probably won't be quite as sore as you are the day after tomorrow. Right, when you're all wears off. Right. Like that third day, it's always next. You can see with the laser here, you can see the tiny uh, light underneath the skin. This is the aiming beam, and this allows us to uh, know how close we are to the, the skin so that we can come up fairly close and, and help heat up the skin for tightening. The third and final step is the fat removal, and this is where we take the fat out using uh, very small cannulas. This is the uh, suction machine, the canister where the fat will go. We're kind of used to it. As you can see, these instruments are very, very tiny, and that uh, allows us to make extremely tiny incision sites that uh, we don't even have to put any stitches in. There you can see the fat going out of the tube. You can see Jolie is very comfortable. You know, the, the movement's quite vigorous. She feels nothing more than just movement, no pain or discomfort whatsoever. In some areas, like the abdomen, I like to use a power-assisted cannula. This has a movement that um, gives you a little more mechanical advantage um, in dense areas. It feels like a vibration to the patient. Yeah. Okay. You'll probably have about uh, four pounds of fat. Cool. And that's all there is to it.
just sick. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. It is. <laughs>